So I recently come across a clip on TikTok of a content creator that goes by the name of Tiff Nicole 143. Now, as you guys can see, Tiff Nicole happens to be a quote unquote thick snow bunny who has attracted a huge audience. I believe she's at 1.2 million, if I'm not mistaken. And you can tell, and you guys can say it's a stereotype, whatever, but you can tell by the music she's playing, how she looks, how her haircut is styled, that she attracts a certain demographic of men, black men. Now, I've been accused of saying things about, Jira, that's not true, blah, 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 or snow bunnies getting away with certain things, or white women running amok when it comes to dating black guys, or black guys go above and beyond when it comes to white women. And hey, it's a generalization, but as we know, generalizations tend to be true with a lot of these things. So she happens to do a video and talks about an instance where she gave a guy her number, and this guy ended up becoming, eh, but... We're going to go ahead and play this clip and I'm going to get you guys thoughts on it. And I'm going to let you guys know what I think about this whole thing. I haven't seen the whole video yet, but let's do it. Let's go. Y'all, are y'all ready for some piping hot tea right now? A couple weeks ago, this guy right here asked me for my number at the gym. I gave him my number. He texted me as soon as he left the gym. I was still in the middle of my workout, so I didn't respond. So then he calls me and I didn't answer. So when I didn't answer, he texts me, would you mind calling me? And then proceeds to tell me he just transferred his job and he wants to date and financially support me. I was like, eh, this is just a little too weird for me. He kept calling, so I eventually blocked his number. Haven't seen or heard from him since until now. It is 11.30 p.m. on Saturday evening and I get a call from no caller ID. I'm like, who the hell could this be? But I answered it. Now, this conversation went on for, hmm, let me see. So the call lasted for a total of two minutes, and I was in such shock at first that I didn't know what to do. I ran and got my iPad and started recording the last minute. Um, this is why we don't give men our number, okay? Let me show you how this guy was just talking to me on the phone. Bitch, you can't keep a man. So you couldn't, you couldn't even succeed at that. You couldn't even get a text back. <laughs> you couldn't get a text back, so you have to call me from no caller ID. No caller ID, really, bro? And you're really, bro? Bitch. And you're not? Single. And you're not? No, you were just a quick fuck. I was just trying to fuck you. But you're not single. No, never. I, I feel picture right now. <laughs> Slap the so shit out of me when he sees me. Buddy, I'm gonna blast your picture along with this recording because guess what? You a dumb bitch. Oh, oh I'm gonna bitch. keep you a dumb bitch, and I'm gonna show 1.1 million people on TikTok. And then he hung up. So, here, my friends, this is Julius. That is how Julius treats women who he can't fuck, <laughs> but he's got a girlfriend. But he wanted to date and financially support me. I don't know. Um, <laughs> woo! This is not how I expected to end in my end my night, but <laughs> now in the sisters' defense, because I know they're gonna have a field day with this alone with this bunny here. This guy just don't have no game. A lot of you guys, you managed to get the number, and you're so excited. You got her number. You saw quote unquote thick snow bunny, and you decided to hit her up, Julius. You couldn't even wait for her to leave the gym and then you start off with your wallet. Hey, can I talk to you? Can Let me go back to these text messages. Tiff, nice to meet you. This Julius, this is me. Laugh my ass off and you send her a photo of yourself cheesing. Now a lot of you guys like, Jerry, why are you making fun of him? Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Yo, this is the lame shit that a lot of you dudes be doing when you got, you. a lot of times you have it in the bag then you get mad because she don't want to entertain you. Would you mind calling me? I just transferred my federal job. I want to date and financially support you. I'm sorry, you don't date black men? I get it, LOL. All these photos you sending of yourself, who is this working on? And you heard the conversation she was recording, you stupid bitch, you dumb bitch, you dumb bitch, you dumb bitch. What are you doing, man? 
This is a neurotic man who got in his feelings because this snow bunny turned him down. Fellas, it is what it is. And you don't ever leave with your wallet on some shit like this. You look super corny. You look super thirsty. And you happen to feel like it's not like striking gold. This woman, and I'm not trying to be mean. It's just my opinion. She's not that attractive. Be trying to call me a cougar? A cougar. See, from what I understand, a cougar is an old bitch that like to fuck young guys. I'm an old bitch that young guys like to fuck. <laughs> it's a difference. She's her body isn't even like anything. It's just like a I guess it's something strange to see on a white woman a lot of times. And a lot of you bros, when you see these white women, you just like, oh my goodness, this is kryptonite. Wow. And it's it is what it is. But hey, maybe she's a cool chick. Maybe she's cool to hang out with. But the fact that she did this, this shit was funny as hell. Put your ass on blast and say that you want to pay her bills. I don't know, man. I don't know. Fellas, you got to do better than this. Especially a brother like this. Don't send a woman photos unless she's asking for it. That's the next thing. If she didn't ask you for photos, why are you sending her photos? I know a lot of you like sending those D pics and all that. Trying to show her what you're working with and all this. Financially support you. I'm a black guy. That's all I got to offer you is I'm going to financially support you. She gave you the time of day and this is what you do. Man, you got to be more careful, man. I strongly encourage you guys to reference if you get a girl's number, what to do, all that stuff like that. I'll probably, I have it linked in the video, but this is just too much. You guys got to do better, man. You can't be looking lame out here in these streets and just lose all your marbles once a woman gives you her number. But <laughs> anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think about this video. What would you have done? Do you guys curse women out? Do you guys go off on women? This is why women are scared to give you their numbers or... Excuse me. They're scared to turn down men because you guys go crazy because a woman rejects you, man. But I don't know. That's and you got rejected by her. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give can't be replaced. Anyway. Comment below, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Linktree to book a one-on-one -on -one with yours truly. Purchase all my books, merch, t-shirts. Helps to support the channel. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. With that being said, much blessings and abundance. Stick around for the next video that's going to pop up on the screen below. That's where I'm going to see you guys at. Listen, this is your favorite everything. This is wisdom. I'm out of here. Peace. Uh, yeah. 50 cents. 50. Part 2. Uh, yeah. Can't forget Tony. 50. UK. Yeah.